ruling party presidential candidate Lee Jae-myung and the main opposition's Yoon Suk-yeol are running neck and neck in opinion polls. The campaign in Seoul considered a toss-up in the March 9th election. He stormed the northern part half of the capital, addressing specific issues that impact each area. Kim Do-yeon zooms in on the activities and messages. On third day of campaigning, the candidate for the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, Lee Jae-myung, went to the spot where he stood five years ago when Korea was writing a new chapter in its history, Gwanghwamun Square, where the candlelight protests effectively put his party in the Blue House as a mass movement called for the impeachment of then-President Park Geun-hye. The election on March 9th needs to carry forward this historic change and the wishes of our proud people. That's what the people want. It's what our politicians need to do, and it's the right direction for our country. He also said his vision, if he's elected, is to listen to the people and to lead in the right direction. In the afternoon, he held a rally in an area known for its many individually owned stores. Here at Wang Shimli Station, candidate Yi focused on appealing to small business owners. One pledge he made was that he will extend business hours until midnight for customers who've gotten a booster shot. He also proposed more financial support to help the small business owners who've been struggling in the pandemic. Through a debt amnesty, the nation will absorb the debts incurred because of COVID-19. This will make it possible to do business as normal. He reiterated he will increase the current supplementary budget bill to at least 41 billion U.S. dollars. If that can't be done, he said he'll issue an emergency authorization to make the money available to those who need it. For his last rally, he stopped at one of the country's most famous hangouts for young people, the college neighborhood of Hongdae. There he promised to make life better for the younger generation. He said he knows the troubles they face and promised fair opportunities for everyone. On Friday, the candidate will go down to the liberal strongholds of Jeollanamdo province and Gwangju. Kim Do-yeol, Arirang News.